All right, you guys, so I told you in the last video, um, you know, we did snow nuts and everything. It was super fun. But I got into a little fender bender literally right there at the end of my street. So I'm going to be replacing my doors today. I got two new ones in there and uh, I already got started. So there's going to be a little door stop right here. You're going to want to take this out. It's just a 10 mil. You take it out and you want to screw it back in. Close the door so that this can be uh, compressed back in and just slide it back in like that. And then once you do that, you want to go ahead and uh, close the door. 12 mil bolts over here is uh, for your hinges. And then also you're gonna see your connector right there too. Now I tried to do it the lazy way. I tried to just pull it out through a hole. Fortunately, you can't do that. So that's why I'm going through the trouble right now of taking out the back seats, taking out the door sill. And um, basically I'm just doing all that to get to the connector. For the uh, front door, it's literally the same as the back. You're gonna wanna take off the door sill here to get to the connector over here. And then there's gonna be a door stop right there. You're gonna to wanna to take that out. And then same process, you're gonna have the uh, two 12 mils that are over there. It's gonna be kind of a bit and a half to get into, but you can do it without getting the fender off if you really want to. I'm just trying to get the uh, get this clip out. It's like the most annoying thing. Just come down. It just won't come down. You know, how dumb would I feel if like it's supposed to be like pushed up instead of down? And I'm sitting here going like this, pushing it down. <laughs> Happens to the best of us sometimes. All right, it might help if I didn't have <laughs> gloves on. Homies out here dedicated, working in the cold, grinding for y'all. Just trying to not live the bougie life. Yeah, it got fixed the daily, you know? Yeah, exactly. All right, no bullshit. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to YouTube this. <laughs> And I apologize because this was a very uh, scattered, spontaneous video. It's a lot less informational, more just kind of on the vlog side. But uh, basically, so we got this one connector out. Getting the other one out, I didn't realize there was two actually. Uh, it's a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Truth be told, this is only kind of an annoying process because it's so fucking cold outside. That's the only reason why. Dude, that was the most annoying shit this whole time. I was sitting here trying to figure out how this 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 uh, connector was supposed to come out, and lo and behold, you literally just have to sit here and wiggle it. We try to find torque screws to like take the bracket off, but I think, yeah, if you just go ahead and wiggle the, dish, you'll be a okay. Now I just gotta, well, bam, there you go. Now both the connectors are out. I can just literally take the door off right now. Jesus Christ, I don't ever want to do this again. Ever. I'm never hitting a <laughs> fence again. <laughs> People say normally don't use like power tools or anything on here because like you don't want the paint to get chipped or whatever. Honestly, I don't really care. It's being hidden by the other door anyways, so like it's not that deep. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you are, I'd really appreciate it if you just hit that subscribe button. Because if you don't, I might just stop this right now and go inside. Cause this is pointless. I'm doing this for you guys. Yeah, you guys gotta support the hustle. If you ain't supporting him, he ain't gonna push the content for you guys. Yeah, I'll just go kill myself. Yeah, just go drive off a cliff real quick. Yeah, I might actually hit a fence except at 60 miles an hour instead of 20. Damn. <laughs> nah, we don't. We don't one-up each other. We make sure we straight. Facts. I only one-up you when I die. Yeah, I only one-up you when I gotta jiggle your plugs. That sounded so gay. Nah, no homo, no homo. <laughs> The purpose of keeping the door latched, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, is once you take this off, like for example if Derek wasn't here, the door being latched acts as an extra person, so you can just literally pull it right off. I'll show you guys in one second. Alright, and then literally, so now everything is completely disconnected. Double check. Yep, everything. Oh, you just pull it right off. Uh, it's a lot heavier than it looks, I'm not gonna lie. Boom, boom. One door down. Now we just gotta do the next one. So I'm gonna try to reconnect everything from the back door first and then disconnect the front door just to make sure I know exactly what the <coughs> I'm doing. So nothing can ever be simple. Uh, I always make some kind of mistake somehow. So these are actually uh, from a wagon, the GC body, and obviously I have the GD sedan. The one thing I didn't realize was that the body lines were gonna seep into the door and as you can see where the handle is, that, uh, that little wide curve right there, I don't have it on the new door. It's completely flush and narrow bodied. So I'm just going to end up putting this old door back on. I'm going to have to find another one, and then we'll just <laughs> redo this whole process again. But I am still going to put the front one on, because I'm fairly certain that that one should still fit fine. So we're just going to slap that on and call it a day. All right, so save us some time and a lot of extra hard work on the front door. 
I don't want to have to take my fender off because it's, like I said, really Ooh. cold outside. As you guys can see, there's still snow on the ground. I don't have a garage or anything, so I'm just working out in the driveway. So to save time and energy, we're just going to take off the door from the hinges right here. And then we're just going to replace the uh, hinges and call it a day. Oh, wow. Swivels? Wow! Oh, you yeah. A fancy boy. That's how you got to jiggle when you don't go in the bathroom. It's not even in there. <laughs> it, won't. it won't fit in there. All right, I'm gonna grab you a small socket. Oh, bro, use a ratchet. It's fine, I got it. See? One down, crack it. You just open all the way? Yep. Crack. Two more. Crack. And. Crack. There we go. Hopefully this is easier than the rear. I swear to God, if this if this door doesn't fit, guys, I'm done with I'm done with cars. I'm done with YouTube. I'm done with life. I'm just gonna work a regular nine to fucking five, and just be a couch potato. First time taking off a door, right? Outside. Me too. I never done this before, but that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. So literally, there's just like this little flap right here, if you can see, and you just shoot the connector right through there, right through the other side. And you're all set. Like I said, we're just gonna put the door back on the hinges so that we don't have to take off the fender and everything. It just makes life a lot easier. So, yeah, let's get on it, bro. A few moments later. We got the door on. It wasn't It wasn't like a hard process. It's just one of those things that if you do it by yourself, you're gonna have a little bit of trouble just because lining everything up is super annoying. And the way that we did it, like I said, we took it off of the hinges and then just put the new door back onto the old hinges so we didn't have to take off the fender. Um, snaking the wire back in was super easy. We did that, connected it, put the stopper and everything back on, and then just double check to make sure everything works. The window goes down, it's all good. And then the mirror moves all as well. So yeah, it's pretty simple. It's just a little bit of a hassle to do by yourself, that's all. And this wire here, you're not, you're not gonna have it OEM. This is a guy that I bought it from, had a speaker wired up, so I'm just gonna cut this. So. It closes good, like I showed you guys, the window goes up and down, the mirror works. And then, looking at the door sill over here, everything lines up perfectly, right? Everything lines up perfectly there. Then you come on to this side and there's a bit of a gap here. And I'm fairly certain I have the window pushed up all the way. So I, I think maybe I might have to change the glass out, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know if I said this already in the last clip, but we're just swapping off the hinges from the good door putting them on the old door right now just because the reason my old door wouldn't close is because the hinges were moved backward a little bit I think so I'm just gonna swap them over also if you guys know anyone that needs a stock cat back for 02 to 07 directs just uh hit me up got one right there oh yeah I got a uh, catless Nvidia downpipe we're gonna put that on as soon as I get an access port which I also have on the way and uh got a couple other goodies for you guys too I just didn't want to say anything but I kind of outed myself there so oops all right, yeah, literally putting this back door on was so much easier than putting the front on. The only thing now we're just gonna do is try to finagle these connectors back in. Hold on. And, oh, my bad. You need to get that top connector, remember? Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. But upside is the door does close properly now. Um, it is still a little bit out of line, but honestly, it's a dented door. I'm just gonna have to replace it anyways, so I'm not too worried. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like not having a back seat. It makes me feel kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. Because you just look and uh, like people see it and they're just like, oh shit, race car. <laughs> we done. <laughs> garbage. Not garbage. Dude, this connector has been the most annoying thing. So this is a bottom connector, and like for whatever reason, the uh, the, the port that you got to put it into like slides down the frame of the car, and like you have to like really finagle it back up. God, it only took like three years later, but fuck, we got it. Ah. Oh. That was the most frustrating thing. Needle nose pliers, definitely a must. Ready? Ready? Yep. Oof. Ooh. Doctor. Now she's in. Oh, oh my god, it's complete. Doctor. Complete. <laughs> this only took so long because it's so cold outside. Here we go. So we got one new door put on. I do have to change out the glass because this came from a wagon. So that's the GG body type, I think is what it's called. And basically, so it doesn't really necessarily line up with the door sill here. So... I have to get my original glass and I'll just put it in this door and it should be all set. And then like I said for the back door, it was just a completely wrong door. This body line right here just wasn't matching up so I'm just going to have to go ahead and get rid of that one and I'll just get the correct one. 
shout out to Derek because I wasn't even gonna make a video today, but he forced me to. He also actually helped me really bust it down and get it done, so appreciate it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Comment, like, and subscribe because, you know, it keeps the channel alive and that'd be awesome. Peace out. See y'all in the next video. This is how I have to fill up my gas tank now, for whatever reason. Whenever I leave it straight down, it just stops as if it's full. I don't know, man. I think I might need a new filler neck, but, yep. That's just another thing to add on the list of things to do. But, alright. Peace out for real, guys. <laughs>